for most people, the only encounter they ever have with the police is a traffic stop. Most are routine. And they simply issue you a ticket or a warning and you both go on your way. Sometimes they aren't though. And when that's the case, you need to know what your rights are. Before I tell you what your rights are, I need to emphasize two things. The first is be respectful. There's only one person who has the authority to arrest you and haul you to jail, and it's not you. The other is to not argue. You're not gonna win an argument with the police. The place to do that is court. So you see the flashing lights behind you and you pull over. You know the drill. Can I see your license and registration, please? They have the right to ask that. They also generally have the right to ask you to get out of the vehicle. And that's for safety reasons. They have a better view when you're actually outside and they can see what you're doing. You also know that they're probably gonna call in your license to see if you have any outstanding charges or warrants. And this is where you're going to really regret not having taken care of that ticket a couple of years ago. Usually that's the end of things. You get a ticket or a warning and you both go on your way. If it's not, that's when you need to know what your rights are. It's become common practice for most agencies to have drug interdiction officers. Their job is to do more than simply patrol the highway and issue traffic citations. They also have the job of attempting to locate any drugs or other contraband. You know that's what's happening if they ask the question, do you have anything illegal? You might think they need a reason to ask that question, but if that's what you think, you'd be wrong. The next question they're gonna ask is if they can look inside your vehicle. They also don't need a reason to ask that question. But you also have the right to say no. I know that's really hard to do, especially when it's somebody in authority like a police officer. And they aren't going to make it easy. They have training and experience in knowing what to say and how to say it in order to get you to give your consent and allow them to look inside. This is where you need to know the law. If you say yes, they can search wherever they want and take as long as they want. So if you say yes, you've prolonged the stop for who knows how long. If you say no, they can't search your vehicle unless they have probable cause. It's a lot easier to prove consent than it is probable cause. And if they don't have probable cause, you get to challenge that in court and have your case thrown out if they didn't have a good reason. You might ask why you would say no if you don't have anything to hide. Here are a few reasons. You're gonna be there for a while, and once you give consent, you can't take it back. And are you really sure that you don't have anything to hide? And also, do you really want a stranger looking around and rummaging through your car? I know I'm a little embarrassed about the way mine looks. I understand that it's really hard to say no to a person in a position of authority. I've represented people that had pounds of dope and still gave consent to search. I really appreciate the business, but I'd really rather you not have to hire a lawyer. A fairly recent phenomenon is that drug interdiction officers will travel with the drug dog. They have the right to deploy that dog during the stop as long as they don't delay you too long. No one really knows what too long is. Other times they might wanna call an officer with the drug dog to come do the search. Generally, they need some reason to believe you might have drugs in order to do that. Again, they can't delay the stop too long. And also again, what's too long is up to a court. 15 minutes is probably all right. A couple of hours is probably too long. So what happens if they deploy a dog and it alerts on your vehicle? They're gonna ask you again if you have anything illegal and if they can search the car. And this is where you can really hurt yourself. They're gonna search your car no matter what. But if you say yes, it becomes a consent search and you've lost any ability to challenge the search in court. Please share this video with your friends. And if you have kids, please share it with them 
and have them share it with their friends. It might just save you from getting a call in the middle of the night to come down and bond them out of jail. If you're watching this too late, give us a call. We've handled hundreds, if not thousands of these cases, and we can help you achieve the best possible result.